Hey guys and welcome back to Schneid's 15. Uh, today we're up at uh, my trailer uh, and we got a new project for you guys so I thought I'd uh, touch base. I really really wanted to uh, film this project where I got it from from this old farm. Uh, long story short I uh, my Sears mower that I fixed up last year I'll put a link in the description to it here. Um, I had a parts mower with it and the rest of the parts wouldn't fit mine because spline shafts were different, etc, etc. I was done with it. I didn't want to take it to the scrapyard. Uh, I wanted to go to a good home. So, uh, like I said, long story short, I put it on uh, Kijiji, sold it, or gave it away for free, I should say, to a good home that uh, could use the parts. So I ended up giving it to a guy named Don. He has an original 68 Sears that he bought brand new and uh, he still has it. It's pretty sweet old girl. Like it's rusty and stuff, it's beat up, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyways, he ended up coming to pick up the lawnmower. We started talking about stuff. Uh, he actually seen my master feed sign, a bunch of stuff we talked about, and he said that he had a farm. So I took him up on his, uh, on his offer. I kind of pushed for an offer to go out to his farm. So I went out and checked it out and he's got a big boneyard of stuff out there. Awesome spot, awesome, really nice, him and his wife, really nice people. So uh, I went out there, spent the day with him and uh, walked around outside, checked out everything, checked out his old barn. And uh, I noticed this tower there and it was not a regular windmill tower, but it wasn't an ornamental one. So I was looking at it and usually I'm the first guy to ask about a windmill tower, but I didn't ask about it for some reason so I uh, at the end of the day I after I was there for a couple hours went through his whole stash I asked him about it and he said well that's off of my neighbors he said it fell over he gave it to me it's called a wind uh, something I can't remember he said it. I said a wind charger and my eyes just lit up and he said yeah a wind charger I said man uh, do you got it here so he said I got it all except the blades the blades broke uh, I guess the neighbor wasn't was a really book smart guy, but not uh, not a handy man. And he anchored it into the tin on his barn roof, but didn't bother to see if there was any uh, trusses underneath. And it ripped out of the tin and fell over and broke. He only used it for about three months. So uh, I went and worked a week. Don uh, is retired, works around home, so he uh, worked at his place and worked away on finding the head and the building that it was in had collapsed so he had to go in cut his toolbox in half or his tool bench it was all rotten the building had collapsed anyway so he found it uh, it ended up sitting in the dirt it was seized I went out and picked it up so uh, I got home yesterday jumped the gun it was dark and I started cleaning parts but it's still in the condition that I uh, got it in pretty well so I'll uh, I'll show you guys the tower and I'm gonna show you the mill it's in pretty good shape and I'm gonna leave it original and I'm just gonna show you it uh, and show you as we work on it so here's the tower it's in pretty good shape it's still got the blue paint on it uh, everything's in not bad the one foot there was a little rusty but that's least uh, minor details everything else is in good shape and it's not like an eight foot water pumper that it weighs 500 pounds this thing only weighs a hundred pounds or something so there she is it's 10 feet tall uh, but coming over here I'm just uh, getting my after work beverage going but uh, here it is the whole piece of metal going out to the vein here had been bent and it had a huge bend in it. it bent like 90 degrees 45 to 90 degrees maybe out the side so I straightened out the piece because I wanted to use all this original blue paint I wanted everything left original so uh, I straightened it out and put some new bolts in there so it got a little bit wavy in here and stuff but uh, I whacked it straight with a piece of angle in there and stuff and in the whole distance is straight all it does is hold the tail so it don't matter um, so when I got it, it was seized. Uh, it had a bunch of rust. It was laying on this side right here. As you can see, it's pitted very badly. 
so I went around with a grinder and cleaned it up but that's all I did and I oiled it to make it kind of have that cool patina look um, it's not getting restored it's gonna look like this just the original colors on it so it was uh, seized in there like I said so I whacked around the outside here and it, it really wasn't seized that bad um, and I got it uh, freed up everything I cleaned up in there hit it with some brake clean brushes are nice and clean um, oiled up the bearings the best I could I'm gonna run it like this for a while um, you can hear the brushes on there and stuff uh, I'm sure the bearings are making a little bit of noise but uh, yeah it looks pretty sweet so one tip if you ever get one of these and this is a 12 volt model these screws will not come out and they're just toast so all these cover plates they uh, they're slotted so you can just take a chisel and a hammer and just drive it underneath there and uh, then you can get those plates off and get everything cleaned up so I'm not gonna run this thing like crazy so we're gonna get it up and I gotta get a blade for it so if anybody knows of a blade for it let me know see as you can see it's a little bent in here that angle still not that it matters in the long scheme of things it's straight um, like I said this was bent 45 to 90 degrees around here and yeah so uh, it came with the original gauge it's got a diode in it because this will t run as a motor so if you charge your battery it can backfeed and it'll start turning the prop uh, so it's got a diode in there it's where you hook up your connections it's in not bad shape rotted off there uh, the brake mechanism this uh, swings out under centrifugal force and these go out uh, where is it I can do it here like that see how they twist and they'll grab wind and slow it down and we got our brake drum here it goes around here and then you can pull this and apply the brake so it will not turn if you know a storm's coming or something but uh, yeah so we're gonna just throw these back on and we're gonna install the tail I'm gonna get the tail and let you guys watch and then uh, we're gonna anchor the tower temporarily for now with just a wood base with some rocks on it and I'm gonna set it up on top and let the tail vane do its thing until I can source uh, blade for it and uh, I need some brushes there's a set of brushes that go in between this piece here that because the mill's got to turn on the tower and uh, it's got to bring power through and if you just had wires they would twist around so it's got a set of brushes that are missing so old Don's gonna look for some but uh, for now we're gonna just throw it on the way it is and uh, see if we can source that stuff out in the future the best part about these i was gonna mark them and put them back in the same spot but they're all different and i can tell where they go by the rust so uh like i said these bolts are stripped but they're just wedged in there so i just line it up and uh we just tap it into place So we're just gonna put the drum on for now, just for looks. Until, and we're just gonna set it up on the tower. All for looks, until we get blades. It looks like there's two different sets of holes, depending what model you have. Well, it's starting to look like a windmill now. I just uh, put that on temporary, it can just sit there, just so it looks not so bare up there when it's sitting on the tower. Uh, we're gonna turn it around now and put the tail on.
All right, so as you've seen, we got the tail on there. I used this rock here and put a couple feet on the tower there just to support it for now. And I stood on top of that rock and did a little bit of a tilt. And we got a standing wind charger. This thing looks awesome. I'm not gonna leave it up because I got work to do. I just wanted to see what it looked like and just mock it up. But uh, yeah, there she is. I'm just gonna tilt it down because I can stand right there and just tip it onto the rock there and just let it sit. But uh, now I can play with it and wait for parts and stuff. But uh, there she is. That's the mighty wind charger. 12 volt. Would have loved an old 6 volt one, but being this is a 12 volt model, it's pretty practical actually. And as you can see, we got lots of wind here because I'll show you. I'll go for a little climb here. One more set of steps. We got lake across there, so. We got lots of wind here. But yeah, there she, there she be. As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.